hi guys so in this video i'll be showing you how i made this beautiful closure so first i already the closure i did the three to four strands single knots on the back of the lace and this is my ventilating needle this needle is for three to four strands and i'm showing you how i cut the weave on i'm using i just cut a small part of the weave on and then I cut off the weft and comb out the excess hair at the top of where the weft was before. So that is how I cut my weave on to use it for ventilating on my lace closure. So it's important to note that when you get to the front of your lace, you can't be taking three to four strands anymore if you want that natural looking hairline. So what I normally do is I leave like up to an inch or half an inch on the lace when I'm close to the front part. And then when I get to that part I've marked maybe half an inch or one inch, I start picking at most two strands. So I start picking two strands and when I get to the front, I pick just one strand. So what I do is the last two um, holes I ventilate. At the front the foremost parts are usually one strand every other thing behind is usually two strands I don't know if that makes any sense to you so this is like the basic way to just um, roll up your your hair bundle or any type of hair you're using in preparation to ventilate and if you are a beginner you should not take too much hair in your hand because it might prove difficult for you to be able to ventilate you with that so this is just me picking two strands of hair and you know ventilating and this method i'm using for the hairline is the vertical method so what i do is i pick a single column and i ventilate one hole leave a space in one hole and ventilate the next hole so when I'm done with that column all the way to the front part of the lace, I skip another column and then move to the next column. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. So I literally pick a column, ventilate one hole, leave one hole, ventilate one hole. When I'm done with that column, I leave one column by the left, like a space, like a line. And then I move to the next column. And then repeat the same process all over again so i hope that makes sense to you guys and this is the final result of the four by four lace closure that i worked on it was just something simple i used like a naked human hair bundle to make this and i just quickly attached it to a wig cap that i already had and I already had bundles of this hair, you know, at hand. So I just attached this closure to a wig and wigged the hair. So this is what the hair looks like, the final results. If you want a more detailed video of how I made this wig and how I did the closure from scratch, please let me know in the comment section. And if you like this video, if it was helpful to you, please comment and share. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Bye.